birth of the Renaissance in Florence, art has remained a prominent part of Florentine culture. Among the many crafts that line this city's streets, marble papermaking is one of Florence's traditions that have been passed down for centuries. This tradition can be found in many papermaking workshops in Tuscany still today. Now, papermaking shops are filled with products. Notebooks, pens, desk organizers, and photo albums line the walls, each stamped with traditional Florentine patterns. Florence adopted the peacock pattern in the early 1800s. Marble and floral patterns can still be found in shops across the city. Paper making remains a very traditional art form in Florence, and like Florence, will remain very traditional and important for years to come. It started in the 17th century, at the beginning of the 17th century, and it was invented from the book binders to cover the end page of the books. The tools uh, at the beginning, obviously, to make the, um, the marble, since it was an abstract design, they used any kind of tools like uh, sticks like I'm using here now and uh, just to give it that kind of look. Afterwards when they introduced different gels which was uh, 18th century they started using different combs. When you move the colors on the surface they remain where you put them so you can create patterns. In this case, I'm making the peacock feather, which is uh, the most popular design. And it's done in two parts. The first part, as you've seen with the comb, the second part is finished by hand. Since they're all done by hand, you'll never have two papers exactly the same. This is the final result. At this point, the colors are fixed on the paper. You could actually touch it, it won't smear. Obviously, it takes a little time for the gel to dry, but that's probably with a size of paper like this, 10, 15 minutes and it'll be ready.